So I'm outside now, obviously. I don't know if you can see it, but this is one of my helichrysum plants, one of my young ones just outside the window. Um, and these fantastic flowers, look, you can see it's dried. That's why they're called everlasting flowers. When, when I did the helichrysum book, we found some fantastic necklaces that had been dated right back to the ancient Egyptians and Romans where they'd made necklaces to put on um, corpses and they were exactly the same 2,000 years later. They were perfectly preserved right, even on the string. It's a beautiful thing. And the reason why I have picked this out is because um, helichrysum is also used for inflammation and pain and we talk about that extensively in my helichrysum book but it struck me as interesting because it's not as high by any stretch of the imagination as kapai but it does have decent levels of beta caryophylline and um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how beta caryophylline works in the plant because it's fascinating but before I do that I'm going to move on to here to show you my jasmine. The right, reason why we're looking at that is because of a constituent called jasminodes. Now jasminodes were identified, I don't know, 1960s something like that but nobody really understood what they were for in the plant and they um, exist in um, rosemary plants too but recently the scientists have been able to discover that it's a communication system that the plant's using so the plant is sending so perhaps from this flower to this flower a message that says we've been hurt and that jasmine node takes that distress signal from one flower to another but also miraculously from one plant to another. Isn't that extraordinary? Now, beta caryophylline, let's go back to the, um, let's sit down on my bum. Um, back, back to the helichrysum. Beta caryophylline is, is secreted by the plant again when it's under attack. Now, scientists were able to chemically harm some kind of maize plant, sweet corn. Um, and as they did this, the plant began to um, secrete beta caryophylline from the roots. Now, when it was hurt, though, some kind of strange little weevily thing decided that, can you hear me? Train, sorry. Decided that it was going to feast on the roots of the maize plant. And so then it was not only injured but it was severely injured and it was getting more and more in, into a weakened state. I could perhaps turn this around and see if I can do that. No. Um, and as the beta caryophylline was secreted, miraculously what happened then is it started to attract some nematodes. Now if you don't know what a nematode is, nematode is like a roundworm. And the, the nematode came and ate the weevils and then turned around and left the maize happy again. So it gave it a chance to um, recuperate. It wasn't interested in eating the roots. So it had brought these incredible reinforcements to, the, to save it. And actually, I mean, this is really, really important stuff because these strange little weevily things, whose name corn something or other, they are the main reason for crop harvest failing. But when the roundworms came, they saved the crop. And of course, that means that the um, plant had chance to reduce the inflammation that it had got when it, it was obviously sent out inflammatory mold because when it was under attack, but also had chance to regroup and build its immunity again. So very, very interesting. And obviously, this little helichrysum, like I say, doesn't have anywhere near the levels that um, the capyba does, but it will still be doing exactly the same thing. Isn't that marvellous? I think that's marvellous. Just before we go, let me show you this. This is my myrtle bush. Tony went in last week, but if you've never seen myrtle, that's a myrtle. And this here, 
this is white sage this is what the uh, Native Americans used to smudge with and in actual fact I never knew that white sage is not a sage at all this is a kind of Artemisia so I don't know if I left the stick in actually I could have told the proper Latin name but hopefully that's interesting to you it smells amazing up here so yeah beta caryophylline